Today, the division's 576 strategic missile squadron maintains operational readiness with the Atlas ICBM, a powerful addition to the SAC alert force, manned by Vandenberg's early trainees and ready to launch should an attack come. Five Thor pads with operational site facilities are maintained by the 392nd Missile Training Squadron. Two additional pads in the Thor complex are being used exclusively in the southward launch of Discoverer orbiting vehicles. Invaluable for preliminary testing of military applications in space. The Discoverer program is the springboard for follow-on programs like MIDAS, SAMOS, programs which will aid our defense position in the areas of detection and surveillance. The 395th Missile Training Squadron has been activated to assume the responsibility for training all SAC Titan weapon system crews. While the Titan has been undergoing tests at Canaveral, Florida, most of the personnel of the squadron are being contractor trained in their individual specialties at the launch site and in the factories. Still under development, the Minuteman, a three-stage solid fuel propellant missile, has undergone tethered launches at Edwards Air Force Base. After the research and development flight test phases have been completed at Cape Canaveral, the program will be assigned to Vandenberg for crew training responsibilities. But many changes have taken place. Keeping a pace with the times, Vandenberg has grown up. Here on one piece of real estate can be found the oldest and the newest in aerospace efforts. The first ICBM operational idea. Atlas missiles ready for firing from a permanent vertical position. Today, these missiles can react immediately, but they are already obsolescent, for they are unprotected from both weather and enemy attack. Not far away, however, is a more advanced idea. Atlas missiles placed in a horizontal position, capable of being raised quickly to firing position and having environmental shelters. And even before this configuration is completed, still another concept is being constructed. Atlas missiles using a self-contained guidance system, which means they can be protected from enemy attack, hardened, as they say in the trade. And moving in conjunction with the ICBM Atlas, the Titan. But Titan has already bypassed Atlas in many areas. It is hard-based now, an underground complex that will house the missile as well as all the support equipment necessary to fire it. No doubt about it, many changes are taking place. We are advancing as rapidly as we can with all the available know-how at our command. But this is a step-by-step -step kind of progress. The new and exacting business of ballistic missiles and space vehicles is for the most part an uncharted field of exploration. Yet, what you have seen is but a small part of what's been accomplished in the short span of about six years. Many milestones of space progress will be focused here at Vandenberg, where the 1st Missile Division is diligently fulfilling its mission, conducting a training program for ballistic missile crews who will man the operational missile sites of both the Strategic Air Command and the United Kingdom, developing methods of measurement of the reliability and operational capability of missile weapon systems, refining the concepts and procedures that will ensure the best results from the use of these weapons. And supporting assigned satellite and space vehicle programs by the Air Research and Development Command and the National Aeronautics and Space Administration while maintaining at the same time a major element of SAC's 15-minute alert aerospace power. And let us not forget the members of that great team who, while operating continuously at frontiers of technical advance and close to the limits of human skill, dedicated to the concept of progress and transition, have helped to make Vandenberg the first aerospace Air Force base of the nation.